fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Renegades and rustlers, road agents and gunmen learned to fear his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. The Lone Silver! We're heading for Red River. There's going to be trouble. Hello, Silver! Away! Jebediah Peters called himself Professor Peters and traveled from town to town with his partner, Meacham. Jeb had great faith in his magic root patent medicine. Even in the darkness, while the wagon was moving along, he could mix his medicine. Uh, good for what you sir. Cures the miseries in the papers. The rheumatiz and capers. Cures homesickness, love sickness, fever, and um, rum sickness. Good for beast and man. For cow and for human. Good for... Uh, there's another bottle. Magic root. Yes, sir. Professor. Magic root. The herb that's known only to the medicine man. Professor. Oh, dag nabbit, Meacham. Stop interfering with the business at hand. I gotta make up a couple of hundred bottles more. Magic root. Gotta have them to sell to the folks in Red River. You'd best come here. I can't. Dag nabbit. Gotta make up this here magic root. We'll be in Red River tomorrow. When you got your gun loaded, you best bring that, too. Uh, my gun. Horse of hat. Watch up. I don't know. Hmm? Over yonder. Dag nabbit, meet him when you loosen your jaw and speak up. Just because you paint up like an engine when we sell our magic root yard medicine to folks doesn't mean you have to limit yourself to grunting all the time. Speak up. Seems like there's something on a trail ahead. Yeah. I don't see nothing. There, where my whip's pointing. Oh, I reckon so. It's been trailing us. Can't trail if it's ahead. Can too. You can look back, can't he? Boo, boo, boy. Oh, boo. Uh, dag nabbit, meet him. What are you stopping for? Get the wagon rolling again. You'd better get set to stand them off, Professor. Here they come. Gee, horse of hat. This here's the hold up. Now hold up. Meet them, we get more trouble. We ain't got a chance. <laughs> Gunfire. Tonto, on your feet. Uh, what matter? Listen, Kimo Savi. Shoot. They woke me up. Yes, Count. Steady, Silver. Get your saddle on, Tonto. Uh, take a title. No time for bridles. Uh, we'll put them on later. 
back and give Scout and Silver direction with our knees. He's got guns. All ready. Strap on your gun belt. Got... Steady, Silver. Oh, Scout. Hello. Uh -huh. Listen, there are no more shots. It's quiet now. That right. Battle over. Yes. Apparently, we heard the tag end of it. We should... Uh -huh. Two more shots. Perhaps it isn't over. This way, Kimosabe. Get him up, Scout. Hey, old Silver. Hooray! Here someplace. No moon now. It dark. There isn't a sound. No shots, no noise. Keep your guns handy. We don't want to run into an ambush. Uh, it's heavy going through these trees, but what that? Not oh, it's a covered wagon. There's a candle hanging from the ridge pole inside. It's pulled up on the trail down below us. This way. No, that hill too steep. There isn't time to go around the long way. Lean back in your saddle. We're going down this cliff. You watch out. Steady, Silver. Hold steady. Out. Hold, hold, hold. All right, Silver. Over the edge, boy. Back on your hunches. Don't let Scout lose his footing, Tonto. Tonto, right here. Scout! Tonto, up on your feet, Scout. Up. He got him now. Him almost fall. Almost roll on me. It's over. We're at the bottom of the hill. Uh, Come on, Silver. Get up, Scout. Hello. We heard shooting. I do. You and your engine friend came down that slope right pretty. I never thought it could be done. What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> your mask, mister. The two road agents who stopped and robbed us, they, they wore kerchiefs, not masks. You're alone? My name is Peters, Professor Peters. Dispenser and sellers of Professor Peters' magic root medicine. Secret remedy ah, for... You come here. Peters. Peters, who's this? That... Well, that's Meacham. Gee, he always played the part of an engine when we sold Professor Peters' magic root. But he never was an engine. Never really. How is he, Tonto? Uh, him... No need to tell, engine. Mister, he asked me before, was I alone? I can answer now. I am alone, mister. Them road agents robbed my wagon. They killed Meacham, too. He's dead. He's dead, and I... I ain't feeling none too good myself. I... Tonto. Oh. Him fall to ground. Hurry. We'll get him back in the wagon. He must have been shot, too. He put bandage on arm. Your wound was only slight, Peters. It's that bump on your head that made you lose consciousness. I uh, guess so, mister. I got tapped with a gun butt in the general ruckus. I was unconscious a while before. And when I came to, you gents came up. And after talking to us, you fainted. Yes, I... Hey. Yes? Where's poor Meacham? Don't see him. Why, I wasn't dreaming. His body was lying right there, wasn't it? Oh, you not dream. Not when I moved him over beside the trail. There wasn't room for both of you in the wagon. We covered him with a blanket. Now that you're all right, we can bring him here. Oh, poor old Meacham. I reckon we ought to take him all to town, give him a decent burial. He has no family? No family or friends. Unless he had some he never told me about. You'll have to explain to the law how he got killed. Uh, them no good caterwoppers. <laughs> we'll bring him now, Peter. You want some help? I, I don't know I'll bring him. Let's back the wagon around this way so the tailboard is close. Uh, back up, horses. Back. Back now. Come on, back. Back. It's a few steps further. Ah, uh, over this way. We get old man and... Oh. Hello. He's gone. Horsefat. Doesn't make sense. Meacham was a goner. I seen him. Couldn't have walked away. Did you find a masked man? There's no sign of a trail, Peters. But a fellow that's ready for his own funeral don't get up and walk, mister. The ground here is rocky. He could have been taken away without leaving a mark. But who? I don't know. But we'll wait until morning and then take another look. Oh, I don't like mystery. I don't like murder, Peters. I want to help in this. Meacham was a fine... Uh. Hmm? What's that, engine? Hunter, here people come. You're right. Horses coming along the trail from Red River. Red River. I figured on going there. Before all this happened, don't know now as it's worthwhile. Don't know as anything's worthwhile. Peters, mm -hmm. we'll see you later. Mister, where are you going? Get back on your wagon. Tonto and I'll stay here among the trees out of sight. Get him up, Scout. Mister, wait. No time for that, Peters. Those riders will be here soon. I wear a mask. They might start shooting first and talking later when it's too late for talk. You mean that I... It's best that you meet these men by yourself. But don't worry. There's trouble, we'll be close by. Come on, Silver. Gee, horse of Seems like all 
this can't have happened in just a couple of hours. There he is. Rain up that wagon. We ain't moving. Don't try to heavy. One move out of you, mister, and I'll blast you so full of holes you... Hey, where's it at? Where, where's what at? Take a look in the wagon, shorty. Yeah, Sheriff. Nothing in there, Sheriff. Now, look here, Sheriff. I'm a peaceable man. Yeah? What's your name? It's printed right inside of a wagon. I'm asking you. Uh, Professor Peters. Um, medicine show. Nervous, uh, ain't you? How do I know you're what you claim to be? You got guns. Mister, you might be... I'm Sheriff of Red River. You find out what I'm here for mighty quick. There was a shooting fracas around here, wasn't there? Yes. Fellow who works with me. Is... Where's the body? Hmm? You heard me, the engine who worked with you. He was killed, wasn't he? Where'd you dispose of the corpus delecti? Oh, Meacham wasn't an engine, Sheriff. He looked and talked like. Dispose of the body. You mean me? Answer me, where is it? Well, I, I, it's gone. The body just plumb disappeared. Yeah? Well, we'll find it later. But disappeared or not, you move over, Peters. I'm driving this rig to town. Shorty, keep your guns pointed straight at Peter, Savvy. Yep. Give me them reins. Driving to town? Yep, I'm putting you in jail for murder. Sheriff, are you loco? I wouldn't shoot Meacham. He was my... Never mind the talk, Peters. I know you shot him. Get up there. You're going to hang for it. Get along. Did you see that, Tonto? Uh, like you say, Sheriff, take him to jail. It's a good thing we trailed him all the way here to Red River. We got close enough to the wagon when they stopped in front of the jail to see the sheriff and his deputy go through Peter's baggage. Mm, he's plenty surprised when them find money. Yes, I was too. Peter said his money was stolen, yet they found it. It's possible that Peter's did shoot his partner. Maybe so. You're not certain, are you? No, me not sure. Not sure anything. We're sure of two things. What then? We know Meacham was murdered, and we know his body is missing. Peter's not moved body. Peters was unconscious when the body disappeared. But uh, who committed the murder? Mm. What we do? Tonto, you're riding to the sheriff and giving yourself up. Huh? I'll be waiting outside. As soon as you've done that, I'm going to try and find Meacham's body. Now listen, here's what you must say. Who's there? Open the door. Yeah, just a minute. All right, mister. Not yet dawn, I can't... Redskin. Engine, what do you want? Where you take professor. Eh? Him right way in wagon. Him never sell magic root medicine without me afore. Me engine. Me work for professor. You work for... Hey, you ain't Meacham. Me work for professor. But you can't be Meacham. Meacham's dead. You see, body? Yeah, I don't savvy. He said the engine helper was dead. He, he, he said that... Huh? What you say? Eh, nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Not anymore. If you're looking for the professor, you, you'll find him. Professor here? Yeah, he's here. Come right in. Oh, I'm good, me. That's right, mister. Slam the door to make sure you didn't get away. So you're Meacham, eh? Well, I was told you look more like an engine than a real engine does. I'll just take them. Oh, why, you take my gun. Just as well you didn't resist, Meacham. I had you covered. Now step along pronto. Um, me see, Professor? You sure will. In fact, you're going right into the same cell with him. I'm putting you in jail, too. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. While the Lone Ranger took up the trail of the man who had been killed, the sheriff of Red River put Tonto into the same cell with Professor Peters. Peters, tired and worn, slept on. He did not see Tonto until he awakened late in the morning. Uh, uh, Tonto, what are you doing here? Me come for you. Hmm? And me not say me meet him, but sheriff not sure. Engineer, you, you mean the sheriff takes you for a dead man? Him not know what to think. But gee, Hossifat, he's got to think one way or the other. We shouldn't be in jail. We... Hey there, not so much noise. Deputy, deputy, come here a minute. Well, what do you want? Where's the sheriff? He's got to let me out of here. I didn't kill him, Meacham, I tell you. Sheriff I... Peters, that same thing you said before. You stay right where you are, Sammy. But the sheriff had no he right... He ain't here. He left about dawn, and I don't know for where. Easy, Silver. We've been following this trail since dawn. It's not hard to follow. Two men on horses. They took Meacham's body with them. Where could they be? Why should they... Well, Silver, look at this. It's a grave. A well-tended grave. New and there are flowers on it. See the name that's been burnt into the wood. Meacham. Henry Meacham. Silver, it's Meacham's grave. This doesn't make sense, Silver. I wonder who could have done this. Shut up, you little maverick. He's been that way ever since we buried Meacham, Sheriff. Had to lock him up, huh? He stays there till he gets some sense. Come on, Sheriff. We can talk better outside. There's less ragged. Yeah, we could be seen. Come on, there's no one around here. We're way out. Randy, what do you want me to do? Yeah, let me think. You were supposed to leave the body there. That was a scheme. You shoot Meacham, leave the body, then I go up and arrest Peters for the murder. That way we get the cash and we get rid of Peters. But you never said you was going to get rid of Meacham. I felt like a fool when I rode up there and there wasn't no body. Something went wrong. What? Never mind. Yeah, what went wrong? Notice one thing, you didn't get the cash. I had to put it back. The kid made me. Yeah, the kid. Jumping mavericks, Grundy. You gone loco? What's that sawed-off half-pint got to do with it? He riding hurt on you? I tell you, the kid made me. How? He swore he talked. Now, how can he talk? He was in that hold-up with you, wasn't he? Yeah. If he talks, he puts his own neck in a noose. Listen, Sheriff. Never mind all the questions. But I tell I you... I said never mind. Chevy... Oh. Now, yeah. what we got to figure is some others. Peters and that engine? Where'd that engine come from, anyway? I don't know. Things were so mixed up, I thought he might be Meacham, but Meacham's I... Meacham's dead. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, never mind where he came from. He's in jail, ain't he? With the professor. I reckon he'd better be finished off, too. With the professor? Both of them. Oh, I don't know how. I, I can't bring him up for trial. Folks will start asking embarrassing questions, like, where's the dead man? You carry a C-scan, don't you? Oh, now, listen, Grundy, I'm a sheriff. I can't shoot him down in cold blood. Besides, how could I get away with it? They're your prisoners, Sheriff. You fired while they tried to make a jailbreak, Sabby. Yeah. Yeah, that might do it. Just uh, forget to lock their cell door, Sabby. They'll make a run for it. Nice, Sabby. I'll be ready for them. And just to make sure you don't miss... I'll go along. Into Red River? Why not? Of course, people know I'm a respected citizen. Now get the horses ready. I want to have one more little talk with that kid. It's about time you let me out of here, Grundy. You can't not get so away fast, with this. Bob. Sheriff and me are going to town. You stand here. I'm not. Still stubborn, eh? You murdered him. You were the one that did... That's to shut you up. Next time I won't slap you, I'll use this gun. I didn't know you shot people. And I didn't know who he was. Now, I... listen. I don't know I could for him. Took him away, gave him a burying. There's just one thing I want to tell you. Either you promise not to talk, or you'll get what he got, Sevy. Now, promise. No, no, I won't. All right, then. I'm going to town. But you come under the head of unfinished business. I'll be back, and when I do, you'll get your... I'll get out. <laughs> Not until I take you. And it'll be feet first. <laughs> Adios. That was my chance. 
I gotta get this door open. I got to. <laughs> Yeah, good enough, Grundy. Yeah, we're behind the calaboose. <coughs> Nobody can get too inquisitive. Anybody in town know you got prisoners? Yep. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Grundy. Howdy. Say, Sheriff, are you certain them prisoners of yours belong behind bars? You told anybody we got prisoners? No, but the little one, Professor Peters, he don't seem like no murderer. Well, I'll take care of them, Shorty. Hey, right now I got a job for you. You got your horse outside? Why, sure. Well, get out to the Bar X Ranch. Here, tell there's rustlers. Rustlers? Golly, I sure will. Yeah, that takes care of him. Where are they? This way. Who's that? Yeah, I see him, Sheriff. That's the engine, huh? Yeah. I'll wait here. Yeah, I'll be right back. Sheriff, Sheriff, did you find him? Did you find poor Meacham? I didn't, mister. Looks like a rope's in for you. But I, I kept telling your deputy I didn't shoot him. It was outlaw. Yeah, it's easy to say, mister. Man, that deputy ain't too smart. I reckon I better make sure this cell's locked good and tight. Yep, yep, it's all right. Sheriff, wait. Well, you, you mean I'm really going to hang? Yep, and the sooner the better. But, but, Sheriff, wait. I... Wait. Me talk to Sheriff. Now you hang too, Injun. You keep bad company. I uh, me not want to ask about that. Me want to ask about dead man. Huh? You come in night with deputy to arrest Peters. How you know what happened? Uh, uh, well, some of the town folk was on the trail. They heard the shooting. Ah, uh, that lie. Yeah, I don't lie, Savvy. Besides, you won't live long enough to prove otherwise, Injun. Smart hombre, that Injun. Yeah, too smart. Now, uh, no, don't close the door, Grundy. We can watch him this way, with the door half open. Right around here behind the desk. He left the cell door open. I unlocked it. Yeah, right here. That's fine, Dandy. Now just keep your eye peeled, Grundy. Just keep watching. Pretty soon they'll discover it ain't locked. They'll come busting out like stampeding cattle. <laughs> and then... Yeah, then we shoot them down. We shoot them down before they know what hit them. <laughs> Anything yet, Grundy? I can see the cell through the crack of the door. They ain't noticed yet, Chair. My trigger finger's itching. Pretty soon I won't wait for him to make a run for it. I'll just... What the... Who thunder's that? Can't be my deputy. It's too soon. Well, I'll beat the kid. Hello. Why, that horror... No, no, stay here. Hi. Stay behind the desk. Let him go. We'll get them all on the way out. Hello, where you at? In here. I'm looking for a man called Professor Peters. Well, well that's me, son. But who, who are you? Well, I've come to let you out. He had me locked up, but I got away. I come to make amends. What, Pat? I got here in time. I had to. The sheriff and Grundy. They ain't cahoots. Grundy killed your partner. Grundy? Grundy killed Meacham? Who's Grundy? Oh, you got to get away. They aim to kill you, too. Both of you. What's this all about, son? Who, who is this Grundy? He's supposed to be a rancher, but he's a road agent. He done that killing last night. Wait. How you know that? Because of... Because I was there, too. Oh. Gee, horse of hat, no wonder you look familiar. Now I recognize you, even with no mask. Oh, you little sort off. What, what did you do with poor Meacham? We took him away. We gave him a decent burial. It, it was the least we could do. <laughs> I made ground to give him a burial. I, I put flowers in his grave. Injun, can you figure this out? I swear it's beyond me. No, me not happy either. First you're a hold-up man, then you, you turn soft. Show some decent feeling. I can understand about the sheriff being in cahoots with Grundy, but Meacham... I didn't know who he was when we attacked your medicine wagon. What do you mean? Oh, there ain't time to tell you. You gotta get out. You... Wait, that door. It's not locked. Wait, it's open. You, you can get away. Grundy, get ready. They open the sealed door. They're coming out. Taking their time. I'm watching close. They ain't got no guns. When they get halfway to the door, I'll yell. Shoot when they start running. Keener, what about the kid? Shoot all three. We can cover up later. Ready? No, not yet. No one here. There's the outside door. Tonto, not like this. It's too quiet. Come on, your horse is out in the ground. No, you don't. Randy, it's the jailbreak. Get him. The sheriff. He walked right into it. Up those guns. What the? A mess, man. 
Go, go. Don't shoot again. Oh, no, take their guns. Uh, me got them. You get here just in time, Kimosabi. Who in places are you, mister? What business have you him, got here? Him, Lone Ranger. Mister, I'm sure glad to see you. But how'd you know where we was at? I thought you were trailed after the ones that took Meacham. The trail led right back here, Peters. It led to a grave, to a small shack, and back here. Mister, I don't know what you're after, but Quiet. I... Quiet. There's the one I want to talk to. <laughs> Me? Yes. It's not hard to piece this story together now that I see you. You were locked in. You broke out and came here, didn't you? Him come to save us. He said him and Grundy held me up last night. I'm a murderer. <laughs> Easy, son. Who did the killing? It was Grundy, but I was with Wait. him. Wait. Are you willing to tell just what happened to a jury? Willing? <laughs> Mister, I want to. Then I don't think you'll suffer the penalty of the law. You're young and you made a mistake, but I believe... A mistake? That... It's a mistake I can never live down. <laughs> I thought I wanted to be an outlaw. I want to be an honest man now, and I can't be. You can try, son. That's what matters. Oh, gee, Horsifat. Land's sake, somebody explain. Who is this youngster? What's it all about? Can't you guess, Professor? Did you know Meacham's first name? No, I didn't. All I ever learned from him was that he had a young brother he hadn't seen in... Well, I'll be doggone. Well, well this here kid... This here kid is Meacham's brother. Oh, yeah, I'm his brother. I hadn't seen him in ten years, but I recognized him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> but it was too late. He, he was already dead. I had him to do it. Easy, son, easy. Grundy did the shooting. Grundy will pay for Mr. it. Mr. How on earth did you know? I didn't, Peters. I just guessed. Yes, well, I'll... Be... I guessed that anyone who would take the trouble to gather fresh flowers and burn a name above a grave must be a father or a mother or a sister... Or else a brother. Oh, I'll be dead burned. They're coming. It's the whole town. They heard the shots and they're coming. Yes, Sheriff. They're coming to put you in jail. This is one crime that caught up with you. Come on, Toto. Hurry. Outside. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.